Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I did this um brown smoky eye and I really got inspired by this ericotta ericotta terracotta color of my dress and of course I have my long trench coat and I just really love how my outfit came out. I did try to film my outfit but didn't happen um but anyways so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get right into the tutorial bye okay loves welcome back first let's get this hair out of the way and i'm ready to prime my skin so i already did my josie marin argan oil in light i did moisturize my face with that and now i am going in with my nevia men sensitive post shave balm to prime my skin so my foundation can stay on a lot longer and now i am also priming with the pores no more uh, primer just to get rid of these large pores for my foundation i am mixing the l'oreal infallible foundation and the born this way foundation i love the mixture of both of them i love the coverage and the fullness of the l'oreal one and then i love just how the born this way foundation from too faced makes my skin just look flawless and it makes it look like it's my skin but better and now i'm just applying this all over my face and next i do take my beauty blender and i was so spectacle about buying a beauty blender just because they are so pricey so expensive but honestly you guys I cannot live without my beauty blender it makes my foundation just melt into my skin makes it look flawless and like porcelain makeup it's just so perfect and if you don't have a beauty blender I suggest you go and buy one because there's nothing like it I mean I have other beauty blender sponges but this one is by far my favorite And now I'm using my Bobbi Brown Concealer, which I ran out in the middle of this video. It's a really awesome concealer, but I only got like a little sample size from Sephora, and it's so bomb, I need to go purchase the full size. So I went in with my Maybelline Concealer instead. You guys know this is my holy grail, and I just do like the under eye triangle shape, and I just go in with my Beauty Blender and blend it all out. And I do use my Ben Eye Banana Powder just to set everything, including the concealer that I use to highlight my face. And the foundation just set, 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 and everything will look flawless. Now for the baking method, I am using my Air Spun Loose Powder. And I do apply this where I applied my concealer. And I just let it bake, let it sit while I do my eyebrows. For my eyebrows, I am using the Anastasia Dip Brow. I have really been loving this formula the product um, I mean in the beginning it was really hard for me just because I think I was applying too much and it was just very harsh looking but now that I know exactly how much product to get and how to use the product and how to blend it out a lot better and quicker I really love how my eyebrows have been turning out and you guys know eyebrows are a big part of makeup so after I'm done doing my brows, I go in with my matte concealer in NC30, the same color as my foundation, of course. I don't want anything too highlighted or pop. Um, but yeah, so I just go in, use the concealer to clean out them brows because I have not gone to go get my eyebrows done and they are looking a raggedy mess. And then after I do use my Lorac eyeshadow primer, which in this video I was actually using a lot of products that I haven't really been using for a really long time so it was just kind of like you know what let me use it let me test it out and see how it goes and a lot of eyeshadow palettes like this one for example that I purchased used a couple times but haven't really used the first shade I'm taking is coconut cream and I love doing this technique you guys just getting like a bone color eyeshadow and just setting the primer just so when I do apply other colors and I try to blend out it does blend a lot easier and I don't have all these crazy creasy lines or anything like that and now I'm taking uninterrupted by MAC and this is by far one of the awesomest colors that MAC has ever created it's obsessing how obsessed um, with this color the next color I am also taking is clove or clove 
I think it's clove and I just do apply this exactly where I applied uninterrupted and just kind of blend both of these babies together and now to add a little bit more depth I am applying the color chocolate cake and I feel like by applying this color it is a, a deeper color and it does emphasize my eye shape a lot more better it makes it look like I have longer eyes instead of hooded small eyes if you guys know what I'm trying to say and then for my eyelid color which really I really really obsessed over this color was biscotti if I'm not mistaken and I love how this color just looked and everything just came out looking so beautiful smoky but still wearable and I really really love it and for my waterline I'm using Teddy by MAC and this is just a regular eyeliner and I love it because it just emphasizes brown and I feel like with this makeup look here I was trying to go for more of a browner look and not so much of a deep rich black or dark brown for my under eye I also applied chocolate cake just to emphasize my eyes a little bit more and for my inner corner I used champagne truffle and that's just to highlight my inner corner as well as my brow bone as you guys can see I'm going ham with that highlighter to create my eyeliner I'm just doing a basic wing eyeliner as I always do and I am using my NYC liquid liner to apply this and it's just the regular black one and this is by far the best eyeliner I've ever used and it's only like three dollars at Target or Walmart of course for my lashes I cannot leave these lashes alone I'm obsessed over them a little bit too much I wear them all the time and they are risky lashes from Coco Lashes and you can buy them off of Lady Moss and oh my goodness you guys these lashes are just everything every time I do my makeup these are the lashes I use I just cannot leave them alone and now to bronze on my skin and add a little bit more color and dimension I am using MAC Give Me Sun bronzer you guys I am about to hit pan on this bronzer because it is so bomb and to contour my face a little bit, I am using Sculpt by MAC. This is such a beautiful shade. I love it to just define my cheekbones a little bit more, you know, because I'm fluffy. So I do need to contour my cheeks a little bit more. And I also used Harmony to contour the sides of my nose a little bit, give it a little bit more dimension. And now I'm using Warm Soul for my blush. And I love this blush so much, you guys. It doesn't... It's not too much of a blush, it's not too warm, it's not too bright, it's just perfect. And for my highlight, I am using this cream highlight that came out in the Rihanna collection called Diamond, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't like how it looked when I was applying it with the brush, so I went ahead and I applied some with my finger. And now to set that cream highlighter, I'm using Anastasia's Starlight highlighter and oh my goodness you guys I am obsessed over how this looks I know a lot of highlight I'm highlighted to the gods but you know what it's okay because I go in and blend everything out and blend it all together and as you guys can see when I blend everything out it just looks a lot more beautiful more flawless nothing too harsh everything just looks super perfect and now I'm going in with the lip liner soar and I love this lip liner and to top it off I am applying serenity's liquid lipstick by Manny MUA with Gerard Cosmetics and oh my god you guys this color is so beautiful so wearable I love it it's such a beautiful nude like peachy nude it's gorgeous especially when you're gonna do them smoky eyes I love it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video